We got two big wins yesterday for safety with respect to New Jersey residents and with respect to the safety of our law enforcement officers. On Monday, as you know, we sued Texas-based Defense Distributed and its founder, Cody Wilson. We sued him right here in Superior Court in Newark. And we sued them to stop them from publishing codes online, codes that at a click of a button would have enabled anyone, including terrorists, including criminals, including domestic abusers, including juveniles, to print guns using a 3D printer. These guns, which have no serial numbers and are not traceable by law enforcement, are dangerous. There's really no other way to characterize them. In addition to that lawsuit, we also joined a lawsuit out in Washington state, suing the federal government for failing to block these deadly guns. The federal government planned to change its own rules to enable Defense Distributed and Mr. Wilson to peddle these guns. And in doing so, and in doing so, we allege that the federal government broke its own rules. We won in both of those cases. In New Jersey, Defense Distributed and Mr. Wilson backed down. He promised the court that he would not publish any new codes on his site until the motion was heard next month. But we wanted more than his word. And so the court included his agreement in its order yesterday. This forces him to keep his word until September. But just a few hours later, we also won big in Washington state, where a federal judge temporarily ordered the federal, temporarily ordered Mr. Wilson and De Defense Distributed, excuse me, temporary order, temporarily ordered the federal government not to make changes to its own rules. Again, changes that would eliminate restrictions that enable Defense Distributed and Mr. Wilson to release these dangerous codes. Because he would now be violating federal law, Mr. Wilson shut down his site yesterday. So right now, no one can get printable codes from his website. And it'll stay that way until the case is in New Jersey and until the case in Washington is heard. Now let's be clear about a few things. No matter how hard they try to spin it, this case is not about the First Amendment. We are not trying to stop anyone from speaking out or even making, uh, sorry, speaking out or even uh, speaking about making guns. We're trying to stop someone from giving out the codes that automatically make these guns via 3D printer. That's deadly conduct. It's not speech. So again, let me be clear, it's not about the First Amendment. It's about deadly conduct, not speech. Nor is this case about the Second Amendment, despite their spin. We are not preventing anyone in this state who can lawfully obtain a firearm from obtaining a lawful firearm. What this case is about is public safety. We are trying to keep untraceable guns out of the hands of individuals who cannot own them. We are trying to keep these guns out of the hands of terrorists, felons, and juveniles. Again, it's about public safety, it's about law enforcement safety. And multiple courts have recognized as much. These printable gun codes are a threat, and I am con committed, I'm committed to continuing this fight. I'm not gonna back down on public safety, and I'll do everything in my power to keep these untraceable and undetectable firearms because they can evade metal detectors out of the hands of terrorists and criminals. That's my obligation to the nine million residents of this state. That's my obligation to the 30,000 plus law enforcement officers in this state. And when the federal government stands down, when the federal government stands down on its obligations, New Jersey stands up and we'll stand up for the rest of the country and we'll stand up for law enforcement officers across the state.